Enceladus, a small moon of Saturn, possibility of extraterrestrial life. Hello everyone. Today, I would like to introduce Enceladus, one of Saturn's small moons, and discuss its potential for extraterrestrial life. Despite its small size with a diameter of only 504 kilometers, Enceladus provides crucial clues suggesting the possibility of extraterrestrial life. Enceladus, a moon of Saturn, is the 14th moon from the planet in orbits within Saturn's E-ring. It was discovered in 1789 by William Herschel and is named after Enceladus, a giant in Greek mythology. Enceladus has geysers that spray material from its south pole. And there is evidence that it may have an ocean beneath its surface. Enceladus is considered an important body for astrobiology research, and it is a tiny satellite with a diameter of only 504 kilometers, making it less than one-tenth the size of Titan, Saturn's largest moon. The surface of Enceladus is covered with clean ice with minimal impurities, resulting in a very high reflectivity of approximately 0.81 plus or minus 0.04. This high reflectivity makes it relatively bright and easy to observe. The average temperature on the moon is minus 198 degrees Celsius. One of the most significant features of Enceladus is the south polar terrain, characterized by two massive fissures known as the Southern Rift Valley. These fissures extend up to 100 kilometers in length and 5 kilometers in width, with a central mountain range reaching a height of 10 kilometers. The south polar terrain of Enceladus shares similarities with Earth's volcanoes. Water erupting from the central part of these fissures is composed of ice, and the ejected material breaks through the icy crust covering the moon's surface, spewing into space. This ejected material is known as Enceladus plumes. The existence of plumes on Enceladus is a crucial clue suggesting the potential for extraterrestrial life. The subsurface ocean within Enceladus provides an environment conducive to the existence of life forms. The ocean water is rich in nutrients and energy sources, maintaining a stable temperature. Moreover, the ocean water contains chemical compounds that promote the synthesis of organic molecule. Its surface is covered with clean ice with minimal impurities, resulting in a high reflectivity of about 0.81 plus or minus 0.04. This makes Enceladus relatively bright and easily observable. The moon's average temperature is minus 198 degrees Celsius. The most notable feature of Enceladus is the south polar terrain, specifically the southern rift valley which consists of two large fissures measuring 100 kilometers in length and 5 kilometers in width. The central parts of these fissures feature mountain ranges reaching heights of 10 kilometers. The south polar terrain of Enceladus shares similarities with Earth's volcanoes. The water erupting from the central parts of these fissures is composed of ice, and the material flowing from the fissures punctures through the icy crust covering the moon's surface, erupting into space. These eruptions are known as Enceladus geysers. The geysers of Enceladus provide important clues regarding the potential for extraterrestrial life. The subsurface ocean within Enceladus offers an environment suitable for the existence of life. The ocean water is rich in nutrients and energy sources while maintaining a stable temperature. Additionally, the ocean water contains chemical substances that can facilitate the synthesis of organic molecules. NASA's Cassini spacecraft extensively observed Enceladus from 2005 to 2017, making 22 close flybys. Cassini's observations reveal that the water erupting from the south polar terrain of Enceladus contains both organic and inorganic materials. This discovery strongly suggests the possibility of life within Enceladus. Enceladus is a key target in the search for extraterrestrial life. NASA is developing the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft, targeting a launch in 2025, to explore Enceladus. OSIRIS-REx will collect samples of water and soil from the south polar terrain of Enceladus and bring them back to Earth for analysis. Scientists aim to determine whether life may have existed within Enceladus based on the analysis of these samples. The OSIRIS-REx spacecraft is part of NASA's New Frontiers program and is scheduled to be launched on September 25, 2025. The spacecraft will arrive at Enceladus in 2029 and conduct exploration activities until December 31, 2031. Upon reaching Enceladus, the spacecraft will use a sample collection device to gather water and soil from the Moon's south polar terrain. The collected samples will be stored in the spacecraft's capsule and are planned to return to Earth by December 2033. The launch schedule for the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft is as follows. September 25, 2025, launched from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida aboard an Atlas V rocket. October 20, 2026, adjusts orbit through a close flyby of Mars. October 24, 2027, modifies orbit through a close flyby of Earth. 
October 25, 2028, arrives at Saturn. January 27, 2029, enters orbit around Enceladus. December 28, 2031, begins sample collection at Enceladus South Polar Terrain. December 19, 2033, enters orbit for the return to Earth. December 21, 2033, enters Earth's atmosphere. December 23, 2033, lands on Earth. The successful launch and exploration activities of the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft are expected to contribute significantly to understanding the potential existence of life within Enceladus. Importance of Enceladus Exploration Enceladus is a crucial target in the search for extraterrestrial life. The subsurface ocean within Enceladus is rich in nutrients, energy sources, and maintains a stable temperature, creating a suitable environment for potential life forms. Additionally, the ocean water contains chemical substances that can facilitate the synthesis of organic molecules.